Hey guys, Ellie over here and back with some more FGO. Previously, we ran out of AP, <laughs> but I think what we have should be enough just for a few nodes. And let's continue. I think we're going to fight Sigurd again, and formation's restricted for some reason. He's a archer, so... Hmm? I think Mash is going to be in a lot of pain. I'll just go for the same thing I did previously. Oh, I <laughs> misunderstood. You're supposed to add her. And as a starting member, um... Oh, and it's... Ortinax Smash. What I'll do is this. Um, I think Atlas is fine. Well, well, you are moving better than the last time. We are really straining the Ortinax, but its output hasn't fallen. I can still fight, Senpai! I think Napoleon is somehow providing some sort of spell boost. Oh, are you going to get a boost? In the... in the battle? Don't tell me you forgot. I'm the only hero of humanity in this whole Lost Belt. I believe I'm basically calibrated for fighting here. And that's not even the only trick I have up my sleeve. Well, did, did he get a power up from the counter force or something? How about you, great hero? Now I see. Joint resistance from proper human history, huh? Clever. <laughs> Good. This would be this would just be boring if you couldn't fight back at least a little. Uh oh. Oh yeah. In the last battle he wasn't using his NP, so I think he's going to start using it, maybe. Am I imagining things or is Sigurd smiling? Uh oh. Ophelia, release one of my limiters. Very well, I'll give you that. For Spirit Origin, Ascension Limiter, release. Destroy all who would stand in our way, my knight. Ascension? A Spirit Origin as Ascension? He looks... Yeah, his eye color is different. Phase 2 limiter released. Authorization granted to Heroic Spirit Sigurd for employment of the demonic sword Gram. Now then, how should I kill you? Which one should I kill first? Ah, what am I saying? I've got to start with you, lover boy. Maybe that will shut you up. Oh, more armor and blades, huh? I see, I see. So you're starting to take us seriously, huh? I can tell his magical energy is spiking even higher. I haven't even touched him, and I can still feel the Ortinax groaning under the strain. But, but, 
But I can still keep going. I can still, I can still keep on going, Senpai. The Ordinax auto maintenance is keeping its output high and stable. I see. You really have grown, haven't you? You never showed such fierce determination before, Mash. It's dazzling to behold. And beautiful. Join us then. Ophelia, I don't know what the crypto's reasons are for doing this. But even if I did, I can't walk away. No matter how strong the Lost Belt servant you control may be. We know someone who may not ha have been strong himself, but if he were now, he would still yell at us not to lose just because our opponent was stronger. Is she talking about Romani or Patsy? I see. You've grown so much stronger since I last saw you, Mash. Shockingly so, in fact. I'm sorry about this. Oh! Huh? Hey, Ophelia, what's up with your eye? Why does it look like that? It's a mystic eye, but I don't know exactly what it can do. Senpai, Napoleon, be ready. She's about to use some sort of powerful spell. And I can't speak German. Phenomena, Schufenhoff. Uh, I'm sorry, any German speakers out there? That armor of yours is impressive. If... Actually... According to Google Translate, that means... I never want to see it shine, or I will never see it shine. I have no idea. I guess she's talking about the armor. She doesn't want to see it shine. Equilus Nemals, Glens and Zine. I tried, okay. I tried. Uh oh. Her secret shutting gun. What? Ah! The load on the Ordinax just increased exponentially. Output is dropping rapidly across the board, even though the auto maintenance is working fine. W what's going on? Does this mean you were able to rewind phenomena over a limited area? That sounds kind of broken. My Mystic Eyes rank is Jewel. Also, Mystic Eyes have ranks, but. I don't remember which one is the highest. I think it's Sibyl. No, Sibyl is Medusa's. Let me just... Let me just check. It's like... It's... The, the rank is Rainbow, Jewel and Gold. I'm not sure. Apparently they, sp they spoke about this in, in case files, but I haven't checked that one out yet. So there's still there's still other colors, but rainbow, jewel, and gold I think are the are the high tier ones called the noble color. Oh well, you always you can always learn new stuff about the Nasuverse here. So hers is pretty high up. Once I have decided I don't want to see something shine, it will never shine in front of me. So the translation was accurate, I guess. I never showed this to you before, did I? Well, now you know this. 
This is what I can do if I feel like it. I'm sorry, Mesh, but you're going to sit this one out. So once you define a target, you can manipulate its passage through time. But that's the domain of true magic. Even with a mystic eye, that could never just be an extension of any regular magecraft. There must be more to it. Something I'm not seeing. Worry about that later. Here he comes. Done talking? I want to get back to it. Let me show you what Graham can do when its limits have been released. It's still a ways off from its true power, but you'll just have to deal with that. There's no way Ophelia is going to let me use my third phase. Now, time for you to die. <laughs> what did you know? This great hero hits even harder than the giants! Looks like I can let my guard down, even for a moment. Mademoiselle Mash, if your armor is not working right, just hang in there and focus on defense. No, I can still fight! I'm not going to turn and run. Not for a third time against the same opponent. I can turn back now, senpai. Don't overdo it, Mash. I won't. I'll make sure to just keep shy. To keep just shy of Reckless. Kinda funny how he's talking about her keeping up the defense when her new kit is more about offense. But oh boy, is Sigurd going to hit harder? Hopefully he won't target Robin. And he's got crit up. <laughs> it's funny how she used the... NP gain down on someone who already used an NP up. <laughs> Buster effectiveness and crit. Target food. Okay, I'll save that one for the NP turn. Oh, so this is the Amalgam Goat she's been talking about all this time. I never actually checked the names of her skills in this mod. NP game up isn't nearly as good as it was. Oh boy. Hmm? Why did she debuff him? Mm. Okay, that was weird. Now it's time for some big boy damage. Sure, 
should be enough to break his health bar. Yep. Hopefully he won't attack Robin. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Please, not Robin. Ah. That damage, though. Oh, is she debuffing because he attacked Mesh? Oh. That's interesting. They're actually mi mixing the story with the game. So every time he attacks Smash, she debuffs him. Well, thank you, Ophelia. I'm not complaining at all. Also, that moment when Hans Hans's skill line is Gerda steers. And we have a Gerda here. Mm. I'm tempted to do a Buster crit, but she's barely got any stars, so... I'll refrain from that. Hmm. Hmm, so Robin got all the buffs. <laughs> hmm. Also, speaking of lines, I f his his lines are also different. His uh, Sigurd's noble phantasm lines. It's not as much defense as before, but it's something.
la la, lost belt servant. So this is the power of her demonic sword, huh? It's strong, really strong. Makes me wish I had a whole bunch of them for my Grand Army. But I guess I'll have to wait for another time. Hey, Ophelia! I'm happy you're looking my way, but can't you look a little happier too? Not that angry is a bad look for you, but lighten up a little. I did come to profess my love. Poor Ophelia. <laughs> Don't let him get to you, Ophelia. A heroic spirit and a hybrid, huh? You're more of a challenge than I thought. Something's helping you out. Maybe it's because you materialized with power your own spirit origin could never hope to possess. But it's still not enough. The best you can hope for is Ophelia's mystic eye to stop in your tracks. You're going to need to be a hell lot stronger if you, want, if you plan on killing me. If you're going to prattle on about love, you'd better make sure you're good enough to back it up. Well now, that's food for thought, isn't it? Skadi? That was the most impressive dance, everyone. But I am afraid it is curtains now. Ophelia, that is quite enough. Poor Mash is about to collapse. Can you not see how she is gasping for breath? I cannot abide seeing my beloved children fight to the death. Mashu. I... I am... fine. I can still... This is... nothing. We've always... As you wish, your majesty. Saber. <laughs> I'm warning you both. Next time, I won't hold back. Hmm. Well, this may not be entirely necessary, but I shall finish this myself. Oh, do not worry. I won't kill you, and you will feel no pain. I'm afraid you will have to stay in the dungeon. But be warned, resisting this time will not yield such pleasant dance as just unfolded here. Let me show you what I mean. Purple light? Can't move? Rip. Bow down. Rejoice that such divine power courses through your body. Bow down. This is the light of the rune inherited from the Allfather himself. I will not hurt you, nor will I rob you of your magical energy. I have simply rendered your body inert. Now stay, savor the depths of my godly power and love. <laughs> Senpai! Now I see. This is something. Wow, gods really are something else. I seriously can't even lift a finger. People of proper human history, my new children, I am a bit disappointed to see this is apparently the best you can do. That this is all the combined power of humanity and heroic spirits can offer. I was expecting something more after I was told you destroyed the king who ruled over the Russian Lost Belt. But it seems you are not quite up to the task of killing a god. Know your place and accept sweet repose in your mother's lap. Can't agree more, Queenie. Gods are eternal. Gods are absolute. Humans could never hope to kill one. That's still true for those of us who have become divine spirits, too. Any threat? <laughs> Guess we're not the only surprise visitors today. It's hard to make out her presence with the castle's magical energy getting in the way, but it looks like... A servant! But... Senpai... That servant isn't a heroic spirit. She's... Damn straight. I'm no heroic spirit. Hello, Canis. I'm a divine spirit. My, my. 
What a strange thing to say. A divine spirit, you said. No such hollow things are to be found in my Scandinavia. Here, I am the sole god. In which case, you must be... Ah, yes, I see. You are here from another lost belt. Ophelia? This is Canis, the divine spirit. A lost belt servant who serves Lord Kishtaria. She's a special emissary with the authority to cross between lost belts in order to inspect them. Would you agree with that assessment, Canis? Yeah, sure. That's all accurate. But you know, after poking my head in here and seeing a demigod and a demonic sword wielder going at it, followed by an actual god showing off her power, I can't help but want a little reward for myself. Reward? Don't worry. I'm not demanding you hand over your life or anything. Yeah, I think just one ought to do the trick. It's been dull, not having anyone to kill this last few months. Lovely. Almost as dull as following your precious man's orders all the damn time. She's a barrel of destructive impulses, this one. This ancient Greek divine spirit's obviously pretty excited about killing. You don't say. And she's got some kind of boost from the god of the sea or something. No wonder she feels powerful enough to go around calling herself a divine spirit. So, who's she going to kill? Hey, woman, I'm talking to you. Farmer Salon, was it? Where's her spear gonna end up falling? Ophelia? Nah, it won't be her. But it'll be someone similar, since she's not gunning to fight a, div a, ser a servant. So me, basically. In which case... I can't authorize that. I'm certain you still don't have permission to fight. Your power is meant to help Lord Kishtaria make, make his ideals a reality. It is not to be used for idle mischief. The hell? Ideals? Did you just say ideals? That jackass's goal have nothing to do with ideals. He's just as vindictive little bitch. Ambition, desires too big for his human britches. That's all he's got. So much so that I actually feel better about myself for losing to such a shitty piece of work. She lost to him? But isn't she a servant? How? But I digress. I still gotta decide who I'm gonna kill. Don't worry, Farmer Solon. It's not you. No. I think I'm gonna go for... The Master of Chaldea. <laughs> so you killed the King of Russia, did you? Wouldn't you know it, I've got a thing for killing kings myself. Looks like you and me got a lot in common, so I got an idea. Let's have a go. Hey you, what do you think you're doing, pointing that thing at me? Oh la la, sorry about that. Wouldn't you know it, my arm just slipped a bit. You can't be more than 10 centimeters away, putting you in point-blank range of a cannon. Divine spirit or not, I don't think you can dodge it. Wanna find out? Ha! Huh. So you can move, King of Europe. And here I thought you'd been hit with a primordial rune. <laughs> Let's just say this is one of those adrenaline rush things. Maybe you've heard about them. No effect. <laughs> I like your style, heroic spirit. You're a straight shooter in more ways than one. Makes you easy to kill. Well now, didn't think you'd blocked around with just a hand. Course I did, didn't hurt a damn bit. I'm a divine spirit, remember? What, you don't believe me? Go ahead, fire another. Course, if you're too weak to even do that. Rip. Why don't I just take a little off the top of your head? Sigur to the rescue? The hell's up with this castle? What, is it a fancy for the likes of me? Killing against the rules or something? 
Indeed, I prefer elegance over boorishness. You heard the queen. She's the scariest thing here. If she says no, there's no arguing. Yeah, do I look like I care? Out of my way, sword boy. These are my quarry. I don't recall tossing them to a feral beast. So before you start yapping about our ward again, maybe you do your damn job and tell us your master's message. So somebody never learned to share, huh? Didn't peg you for such a loyal lapdog. Dog, huh? That bring, bring, brings back memories. Everything even similar to those disappeared from here ages ago. There aren't any animals left to draw analogies to here in Scandinavia. They're all gone. It's all going away. That goes for you too, Canis. I don't know how rotten the world you come from is, but now that you're in this one, you'll end up the same way. If that's what you want, go ahead. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll make sure you end up staying here for a long, long time. Hmm? If you think I'm gonna be scared by... Huh, so that's how it is. Interesting. What? Russia was nice and simple, but this Scandinavian lost belt's a real mess. It's way more interesting. Don't worry, I'm not so uncount as to do anything to ruin it. I'd say someone else has that covered. Who? You win. No more killing unarmed brats. I'll let her off the hook for killing the Tsar. Best to do this sort of thing in your own world anyway. Ain't that right, sword boy? Mm, what? Ain't that right? Is she implying that Sigurd's up to something? Are you satisfied now, Canis? Can't you tell? I couldn't be more done. Don't you talk to me, Ophelia. Just shut up. Don't say a word. Don't even look at me. I hate women like you more than anything. I'd have killed you long ago if you weren't a cryptor. Ow. How odd. We actually agree about something. But how we feel has nothing to do with our jobs. Now hurry up and do yours. Back in Russia, your only duty was to act as an observer. But this time around, you've got a little something extra, haven't you? Oh, you've got more guts than I gave you credit for. If you can give as good as you can take, you might not be so bad after all. Here, it comes with a message from my boss just this once. Couldn't he just send that to Ophelia directly? Like, he, like in that flashback? Hello. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Queen of the Scandinavian Lost Belt. My apologies for delivering a recorded message, rather than visiting in person. I am Kirstaria Wodaim. I am in charge of the largest Lost Belt, Greece, and the leader of the Cryptors. As for you, Chaldeans, welcome to this bleached earth. As your senpai, I am proud to welcome you here. While I confess that doing so requires some speculation on my part, I have taken the liberty of sending this message to the King of Scandinavia with the assumption that you will all be present as well. Given how you triumphed in Russia and how close this lost belt lies to it, I am confident you will have reached it by the time this message is delivered. Our goal is to rebuild human history. This entails recreating a land for gods to inhabit. Proper human history was not a mistake, per se, but neither was it correct. Instead of loss and gain resulting in a net benefit, they became caught in a system that resulted in unchecked growth for both. It was an incredible waste. What should have been a virtuous cycle was effectively stuck in a rut. The foreign god wept to see the state of this planet and decided to grace it with their presence. As scriptors, our duty is to help the Lost Belts take root and become stronger than proper human history. The King of Mages' answer to humanity's failure was to have other humans incinerated, but not me. I chose to rewrite history 
with the foreign gods' help. People have had gods running the world behind the scenes since ancient times. They believed gods were both the planet itself and the laws of nature that governed it. But humanity lacked self-awareness. Those laws were meant to be used, not obeyed. Angry? It was that mistake that led to humanity and the gods parting ways. Humanity did not forget the gods. They abandoned that possibility once they became unable to handle them. Your Majesty, Queen of Scandinavia, you care for a mythological ecosystem that met its end in a self-imposed ruin, rather than one which ended when its people forgot it, like Greece. Keep the Tree of Emptiness safe. As long as it exists, that lost belt will never vanish. I implore you to turn your back on your fate and to choose the path of survival. Once you do that, I would like nothing more than for you to face again against my own tree of emptiness. My tree of emptiness is already fully grown. Hmm? While the Norse world has Yggdrasil, a wool tree that serves as the foundation of its every realm, Greece now has a tree of emptiness supporting the very heavens. Thus, it has been dubbed the World Tree Atlas by my ally, the great god Zeus. Uh? Chaldeans, I can say that, as far as you are concerned, Atlas is your greatest and, and most important target. The roots of my lost belt's tree of emptiness now cover 80% of the Earth's surface. Well, someone's been working out. Even if you succeed at cutting down every other lost belt's tree, you will never be able to restore proper human history, so long as Atlas remains standing. Queen of Scandinavia, you are a god, and so I have hopes, high hopes for you. Indeed, you could even think of this as the gods taking revenge on humans for usurping their throne. As for me, I am prepared to make full use of the gods despite being human myself. I will create a fully realized age of gods, a glorious history where human weakness is a thing of the past. It will be a world that will endure no matter how heated human consciousness, human consciousness becomes. A place where life can flourish with neither deficit nor fragmentation. Be warned that I will show no mercy to any who would stand in the way of that goal. I hope that, alongside Ophelia, you will choose the best possible future. Peace out. Lord Kirstaria. Wrong. It was a declaration of victory. That is how we should hear it. Thanks to Lord Kirstaria's leader leadership, we cryptors have already begun a new chronicle for humanity. Hmm. So he is the cryptor's leader. I see, I see. So he wishes to restore the Age of Gods and help us take our revenge. Fascinating. Does that mean I am the closest to his ideal? If my Scandinavia's tree of emptiness were to continue growing as it is, it will eventually swallow up his lost belt as well. Of course, Lord Kishtaria would be perfectly happy with that out without outcome. He has even said he would like nothing better, and that the Greek lost belt is not necessarily the best. Oh, uh -huh. is that so? How admirable of him. What's more, he says he will make full use of us gods. <laughs> Indeed, my Scandinavia never did anyone willing to voice such grand ambitions. Right, he's a damn avatar of human foolishness and hubris. I bet he and Zeus get along great. Zeus, he's an ancient god from the Mediterranean, yes. Ah, I remember now. Canis, I've heard that name before. As I recall, it belonged to a ferocious member of the Argonautae, a tyrant who boasted that she was a god by virtue of her strength, beloved by the sea. Yeah, so Canis was also one of the Argonauts. No, wait. She was not beloved by the sea, but tainted by... Um... That's... That's kind of an insensitive thing to say. 
very insensitive. Because uh, if you guys don't know her, Canis's story, basically, Poseidon. Yeah. And after he did that to her, she wished to become a man so no one could ever do that again to her. It was pretty messed up. Canis, what are you? So, you would point your spear at an ally's throat? This says a great deal to your master's judgment in adjutants. Stop it, Canis! Do you mean to completely betray Lord Gishtaria's trust in you? Tch. Be gone, Canis. Your role in this Lost Belt is over. Don't bother stopping by the other Lost Belts either. I'm told that a number of heroic spirits from proper human history have shown up in the ocean now that the god of the seas is gone. Poseidon is gone? I ask that you return straight to Lord Kishtaria without stopping anywhere else. Good point. Besides, I've still gotta check in on that pain in the ass Artemis. So Zeus and Artemis are around, but Poseidon is not? Yeah, don't worry. I'll be out of your hair and on my way straight back to your precious Lord Kishtaria real soon. See you around. So long, Chaldeans. You guys are probably gonna rot in this dungeon, or end up on the wrong end of Sword Boy's Blade. Not gonna lie, shit's looking bleak for you. But hey, I want a chance to kill you idiots myself, so hurry up and crush the weirdos in this lost belt. Now that we had a chance to say hello and all that, next time we meet, the gloves come off. Make sure you're halfway decent warriors by then. If I wanted something with lifeless eyes, I'd go fishing. <laughs>